Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, you're you, and this is Pharaoh. Back to the city of O. What is it own? <laughs> Idiocompolis, I think it was called in Greek. Regardless, we're here just slapping together some master bars and uh, trying to mooch off as much money as possible without Pharaoh getting cranky. And we do have a fair bit of city funds, so. We're just succeeding at least in a few counts. So I keep wondering if I want to go and spread my industries. Again, my fear is that these clay pits, clay pits would start ferrying clay all the way down here. With all the logistics issues that would cause. Alternately, I could just rearrange the whole area up here. Or at least move the cattle ranches. That still put us at risk of uh, all the straw going the wrong way. Uh, nah, we'll take it. We'll take it slow, I guess. Oh, someone beat the hippo over here. Try to. Yeah, it's moving up behind the palace, I think. There it goes. And yeah, they always shoot at the this guy rather than the one that they need to shoot at. Grr. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, fine. Um, fortifications. I don't think there are any... I don't know if, they, if these things require um, upkeep. I guess we're gonna find out. I'm gonna build a roadblock, say, right about there. I should find workers. Right, so we're gonna walk out here. Maybe you won't find workers, actually. Uh, if I build on there, you're not gonna get labor. Let's. I need to turn this map around. I want to see it's behind these structures. Oh, oh, this roll only ends there. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna add two bits of roll here. And some roll blocks here. That way, they'll find workers in this temp there. Yeah, there we go. They have access now to the labor pool. They will be, they will be staffed. We stopped and everything will be fine. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, we simply don't have enough papyrus on this map to really uh, crank up the papyrus industry, but that's fine. Pity we can't grow papyrus in the flood plains. That would have been nice. Uh, it looks like we're waiting for the last shipment of uh, blocks for this thing. It's good. This is good. There it goes. There it goes. Uh, you know what? We need to crank up the food, the production there. Um, what we don't need is the meat. Yeah, we don't need the meat. Problem is, I can't really build that many clay pits, but I can build a side road, and I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Master bar has been finished. Excellent.
This is such a bad idea, so obviously we're gonna do it. There we go. Three houses. Fine house and architect's post. Actually, we need more brickworks, so I'm gonna keep you two in favor of brickworks. There we go. I mean, I could have put a road in here too, as try to uh, squeeze in even more industries, but I think this is gonna be okay for now. Also, the master finished, so let's uh, The next site, shall we? Oh, don't delete the master bar. That would be... <laughs> that would be bad. Let's not do that. Uh, monuments, not a small master bar. And uh, build it, say, there. And let's run connect. It, there we go. And that should be fine. You didn't actually delete this, right? No, good. <laughs> that would have been bad. Having to start all the way, uh, starting all the way over again. Anyways, now we should have more clay here to fuel all the industries. We have enough straw to produce bricks quite a bit faster. At least I hope so. Double the amount of brick works. And now that we have more guard towers here, we're gonna kill the hippos faster. This guard tower here doesn't actually do anything anymore. Because the hippos die. Yeah, there we go, not much better. So two guard towers should be enough to keep the hippo population controlled. I was hoping this guard tower would contribute to that, but unfortunately the spawns point, one point is too close to this shore. But these two towers should be enough to kill the hippos as soon as they spawn. Yeah, there we go, beautiful. They're not, they're not gonna come and kill my civilians anymore. Let's see if I can remember that for, the, for later maps. Two towers is enough to keep one spawn under control. At least hippos. Hyenas, I think, will move a little too fast. They just move away from the spawn point almost immediately. So we're almost done digging up the top soil. Just need one more dude. You know what, what, why the heck haven't I done this? There we go. I mean, I, we need a Roblox here, but other than that... It's gonna speed up the process a fair bit. Do I need more... Uh, bricklayers? I don't think so. Five loads, that's ten bricklayers. Right? Yeah. So we don't need more brick players, that's fine then. I mean, can I squeeze in the other master bar right away? I could. Oh, fine. <laughs> that's fine then. I mean, we're not gonna have enough bricks to do all this, I think, but just in case. Uh, and in that case, we're gonna add two more brick players. Perfect inundation sounds nice. With five brick layers, we're gonna have 20 of them, and that's gonna be enough to cover both master bars. Yeah, that should, should be fine. Hey, people are leaving the city, why? So I've had a momentary shortage of some goods or another. Not a problem though. Uh, gods? Are the gods happy? Oh, they're getting slightly cranky. Um, I might need to... Yeah, let's cram in a couple more shrines. When in doubt, more shrines. Yes, where do we want the shrines? Uh, one, two, three for you. Uh, one... Two, 
Okay. Gonna hold much for Ra because he's gonna get he's gonna be jealous otherwise. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I don't think he cares about the distribution of them. Just the amount of them, so. I do believe they care for distribution in terms of the walkers, but not for the shrines. I could be wrong there. I've never seen a wa anyone walk through the shrines, so... Yeah. Either way. That should make them slightly more placated. Oh, there's a bit of a graphics glitch there. Curious. Hopefully this won't cause a problem, having the must have us right on top of each other. Guess we'll know soon enough. Also, it might be time to start importing, so uh, we should be able to access... ...wood. Import to 800, that's what we need for the monument, right? So, yeah. 800 wood first, then 800 uh, luxury goods, then we're gonna close down that, all, all that stuff. We don't waste uh, storage space. But at this point, I'm just gonna make some gardens. Smash. <laughs> Whoosh. All the gardens. I don't think I need the construction space for anything else at this point, so... That should make them happier. Uh, I have two cards here. Two storage art from my from my granary. Uh, strange. Not sure what these two were up to. They might be knocked uh, free once we deliver more grain or something. We'll see. Uh, Pharaoh wants more limestone blocks, which is fine. Yeah, we only need a kingdom rating of 60, so... It's gonna be fine to mooch off the city as much as possible, and we're gonna need that money. As long as our prosperity rating doesn't plummet, we should be fine. Uh, it's, when's the end of the year? That's in January, I think, so we'll wait. I wanna see if we uh, export everything we can in terms of silk and... or well, silk, linen. And papyrus. I don't think we export all the papyrus we can export because we simply don't have enough production. <laughs> but uh, linen we should produce quite a lot of. And as long as the ships ferry through, we should be able to export everything we can of linen, which I think was two and a half, 2,500 units worth of. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. In cometh the grain. We have more than enough flax, so these poor guys are gonna drown. Why are you here? Uh oh. That walker is not where they should be. There are roadblocks all along here, so why did the. Uh, why did the bazaar worker end up out here? The roadblocks should keep her from going there. Huh. That was curious. I mean, the city hasn't collapsed because of that, but that's... Uh, range. But this bazaar right here, it sent a walker out behind the conservatory here. 
But this whole area here is full of roadblocks. You should never go out there. There's a roadblock down here as well, so... Yeah, I don't know. Gotta let the city have some quirks, I suppose. Oh, look at all the folks waiting for, <laughs> for transport across this one river. Oh, to be able to build a bridge here. Oh, well. I mean, they are gonna get they are gonna get across eventually. I think each ferry boat can carry like four carts or four walkers, if I remember correctly. That just goes to show how many are parked here waiting for transport. There we go. Kingdom rating has risen. Nice. I'm very glad Far Pharaoh isn't asking for bricks. Because that would have been a bit more obnoxious. On the bright side, there have been no outbreaks of malaria, or the plague, or fires, or floods, or anything really. Some time now, that's nice. Oh, it's January. Uh, I was supposed to go check. The world exports. Is it already shifted over? It already shifted over. Boo! <laughs> okay, so December, I need to go and check this then. Let's see if we can remember next year. I mean, there's not much I can do to increase the efficiency at this point. We're exporting only two goods. We're importing nothing except wood. Which I think is already done. Yeah, it's already done. And uh, let's do that one and go and deliver that up over to the monument. Well, there we go. Dispatch all that. Uh, I can instead import jewelry. Wait, I need to cancel the import order also. No wood. This time we're going to import jewelry up to 800. That will leave the granite blocks, but I think we're going to hold on importing those until until we're ready to advance. Again, we're trying to mooch up as much money as possible here. Because we're going to need it. We are so definitely going to need it. And at this point, the master bars are coming up, coming along pretty, pretty nicely. Not like we're short of straws. Good thing the city won't require more than one foodstuff at any given time. <laughs> I probably could have found a, found a way to squeeze in one of the larger temple, temple complexes as well, but yeah. Heck, we could still do that over here, I think. I really wanted to, but yeah. Not a big deal. As long as the gods don't send punishments, I think we're gonna be just fine. We're not making as much money as before, so our prosperity rating is going to. Oh, yeah, my goodness, prosperity is tanking. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Uh, yeah, we lost money last year. Uh, how much? Minus 6,000 demons. Ouch. Ouch.
Well, I did build a quite a bit, a few things. So if I stop building, we're gonna be making money this year, so... I hope. <laughs> I might have to start exporting the stone blocks again. I don't think I need I don't to, know though. Why we came. This city never trades, and the short leave is boring. I wonder if the city has any sites I could see why they unloaded. We are the actually game. exporting pottery now because we have so much of it. Okay. Not ideal. Uh, but I that's the. Uh, the city has any sites I could see why they that's the papyrus the strip, so it's fine. I won't have enough papyrus to uh, fulfill that, their demands, anyways. I do believe we've gotten all the luxury goods we need. Let's uh, curb the import. Dispatch those. And uh, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, the wage increase we had earlier, that really hurts us. 37 debons instead of 30. <laughs> Expensive. I mean, we could crank up taxes. That would make people unhappy, though. But yeah, we need our prosperity rating isn't good enough. Mostly because we lost money. But that's mostly because I built a whole bunch of things last year, so... If I hold on construction this year, we should be fine. And also, we're not import gonna import more expensive luxuries. I mean, we are gonna import granite rocks at some granite stone at some point. But, uh, yeah, we'll have time to recover. Then again, I could, uh, you know what, let's see, granite accept up to a quarter. And import up to eight blocks. Except if I do that, I need to open up another trade route. Uh, I don't want to, but I guess we're gonna have to. I mean, the only thing those ships will do is unload the granite blocks. It's an import route only. So hopefully they won't take up too much time at the docks. Because those ships don't make me money. <laughs> Which is kind of the big deal here. I only want the ships that make me money. To be uh, tied up at port. We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. And prosperity goes down and down and down, not good. But now we're making money again, so it should start uh, going up. I hope. <laughs> I need to be a bit careful with the granite imports. Perfect plot expected, that sounds good. And now all the carts in the world are gonna park here. <laughs> Waiting for the ferryman. Oh boy. Eventually they'll get across. And Farrah wants game meat, which is fine. An easy enough request to fulfill. Seventeen thousand stored in our family vault now. Um, how's our support? I'm gonna wait until we have a thousand on that balance sheet. It is now October. We've exported 1,500 of 2,500 possible in terms of linen. It's 
some pottery has been exported, nearly all the papyrus. You also want bricks and limestone and clay. You'd buy limestone. Maybe I should open up an export for limestone again. I don't want to, but that's gonna... Uh, you know what? Fine. Let's do it. It's a different route. Export about 24. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to accept that. It's a bit of a problem though, because that's gonna... That's gonna take a long time to fetch that stone. Which is that limestone. So it might actually hurt profitability, because we're not going to be selling papyrus and linen while, while those ships are just occupying the docks. But I think it's worth trying. We'll see. Anyways, it is time for a short break. Thank you for watching.